Hello, my name is Jason Heron with the ESI, and I'm here to demonstrate how to use the call waiting, flash, and virtual answer keys on the ESI phone system. Okay, as you can see on the ESI phone system right now, I'm currently on the phone with someone. And our phones come equipped with the ability to show call waiting. And what that means is when a second call is coming in, we're going to hear an alert tone, and you're going to see the caller ID like you see here of the second person calling in. If you want, you can hit the flash key and toggle over and speak to the person calling on the other line. Uh, and you can do that as many times as you like. Each time you press flash, you can see that you toggle back and forth between the two calls. Next, I'll show you how to program a virtual answer key on your ESI telephone and record the greeting for it. What you do is you pick a programmable feature key and you will hold it down until it talks. Then you will hit your EasyDex button twice and you will see a list of features here that you can scroll up through until you find the feature that you're looking for, in this case, Virtual Answer 1. Here it is. Then you will press the flashing programmable feature key one time. To record your greeting for this virtual answer key, press 1. To begin recording at the tone, press 1 when finished. Hello, this is Jason. I see that you're calling in right now and your call is very important to me, but I'm on the line with another customer. Please hold and I'll be with you shortly. However, if you do not wish to wait on hold, you can press 1 now to leave me a voicemail. You can press 0 to reach the operator or press anyone's extension at any time. Thank you. Hello, this is Jason. I see that you're calling in right now and your call is very important to me, but I'm on the line with another customer. Please hold and I'll be with you shortly. However, if you do not wish to wait on hold, you can press 1 now to leave me a voicemail. You can press 0 to reach the operator or press anyone's extension at any time. Thank you. To record. And this is how you program a virtual answer key and record the greeting. And now I'll demonstrate how to actually use your virtual answer key. As you can see, I am currently on a call right now. And in a second, another call is going to be presented to my telephone, at which time my virtual answer key is going to light green, letting me know that I can now use it. Here comes the other call. I have call ID so I can see who's calling. It's Bob. I'm going to press my virtual answer key, and this is the recording that Bob is going to hear. Hello, this is Jason. I see that you're calling in right now, and your call is very important to me, but I'm on the line with another customer. Please hold, and I'll be with you shortly. However, if you do not wish to wait on hold, you can press 1 now to leave me a voicemail. You can press 0 to reach the operator or press anyone's extension at any time. So if Bob decides to take one of my options, for example, to go into my voicemail or to speak to the operator, he will disappear from my display. However, if Bob's name remains in the display, that means he is waiting to speak with me. At my earliest convenience, I can press flash and I have toggled over and I will now be speaking with Bob, or I can easily hit flash again and toggle back to my original call. And this is how you use your virtual answer key. Would you like more details on these features? You can press your help button on your phone or click the link at the bottom of this video to visit our website.